Hey there, fellow electricity enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Electricity Frenzy. Comma and today we're diving deep into a common issue that many of you might have encountered. Why does your refrigerator trip the GFCI? Don't worry, we've got all the details you need right here. Let's get started. So, you've probably noticed that sometimes your refrigerator can cause the GFCI to trip. But first things first, what's a GFCI? GFCI stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. It's that handy electrical outlet with the test and reset buttons you often see in areas like kitchens, bathrooms, and outdoor spaces. The purpose of a GFCI is to protect you from electrical shocks. It does this by constantly monitoring the current flowing in and out of the circuit. If it detects even a tiny imbalance, like if some current is leaking through you, it quickly shuts off the power, preventing potential harm. Now, here's where the refrigerator comes into play. You see, some older refrigerators or certain models can have what's called stray or leakage currents. These aren't necessarily dangerous on their own, but they can be enough to trigger the GFCI's sensitive mechanism. Leakage currents can happen when moisture or dust accumulates inside the refrigerator's electrical components over time. This can create tiny paths for current to escape, even when everything seems perfectly fine. These currents might be small, but remember, GFCIs are designed to be super sensitive. Now, don't fret. There are several possible causes for your refrigerator tripping the GFCI. 1. Test another outlet. First, try plugging your fridge into a non-GFCI outlet. If it doesn't trip there, then the fridge might indeed be the issue. 2. Inspect the cord. Check for any visible signs of damage on the refrigerator's power cord. A damaged cord can potentially cause leakage. 3. The GFCI outlet is faulty. Sometimes, the GFCI outlet itself might be faulty or worn out and needs to be replaced. 4. Overloading. Overloading the refrigerator circuit with multiple appliances could also lead to GFCI tripping. 5. Faulty component. A faulty component within the refrigerator's electrical system might also cause GFCI tripping. 6. Consider an isolation transformer. For older fridges that tend to have leakage issues, using an isolation transformer can help prevent those stray currents from reaching the GFCI. 7. Professional help. If you're unsure or uncomfortable dealing with electrical issues, it's always a good idea to consult a qualified electrician. They can diagnose the problem and provide a safe solution. Now, let's talk about how to determine if your GFCI is faulty. 1. Test the outlet. Press the test button on the GFCI outlet. This should cause the reset button to pop out, and the power to the outlet should be cut off. If this doesn't happen, the GFCI might not be functioning correctly. 2. Reset the outlet. After testing, press the reset button to restore power to the outlet. If the reset button won't stay in or if the outlet still doesn't work, there might be an issue with the GFCI. 3. Plug in a device. Plug a lamp or another electrical device into the GFCI outlet. Turn on the device and then press the test button again. The device should turn off immediately. If it doesn't, the GFCI might be faulty. 4. Check other outlets. If the GFCI outlet has load terminals connected to other outlets, test those outlets as well. If the GFCI outlet is faulty, it might affect the other connected outlets as well. 5. Consult an electrician. If you're still unsure whether the GFCI is functioning properly, or if you suspect it's faulty, it's a good idea to consult a qualified electrician. So there you have it, folks. The next time your refrigerator decides to play trick or trip with your GFCI, you know exactly what might be happening. Remember, safety should always come first when dealing with electricity. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Electricity Frenzy. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more electrifying content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe. Catch you on the next episode.